At this station, we will discuss the project's purpose and need. The purpose and need is the foundation of the alternative study. The purpose and need identifies transportation challenges in the study area, establishes why an action is needed, and identifies measures to evaluate alternative solutions. The purpose and need is one of the first steps for many types of projects, including transportation. The PEL study focuses on the Laraway Road and Union Pacific Railroad at grade, or level, crossing located in the city of Joliet. The study area includes 1.25 miles of Laraway Road from Brandon Road to Illinois 53, as well as 1.75 miles of the Union Pacific Railroad from Zurich Road to Schweitzer Road. Industrial land uses include employers such as Vulcan Materials Company and Laraway Recycling and Disposal. National retailers, logistics providers, and the Union Pacific Railroad's Joliet Intermodal Terminal near the study area are the source of many trips. Industrial, transportation, and logistics development is expected to continue in the future. The project team evaluated existing travel and traffic volume forecasts to understand current and future delay and travel time reliability. The analysis found that Laraway Road is a freight corridor with extremely high volumes of slow-moving trucks. Gate closures at the railroad crossing are lengthy. Some last 10 to 15 minutes. This results in traffic backups in both directions that take time to clear. Many trucks make safety stops at the railroad, stopping traffic. And eastbound traffic on Laraway Road also experiences backups because of the Route 53 intersection. Cars and trucks experience a stop-and-go situation that often extends across the railroad. The planned Hobolt Road Bridge will link northwest across the river to I-80, but even with the new bridge and planned improvements along Route 53, there will still be future traffic operational problems on Laraway Road. The project team evaluated safety concerns at the railroad crossing. Truck drivers often stop on or near the tracks because of congestion, but the crossing is 110 feet wide, so drivers may not realize their truck has not cleared the tracks. The analysis also found railroad gates were damaged or broken by a vehicle about twice a month, resulting in non-functioning gates between 1.5 hours to 7 hours, an important safety consideration. A gate was seen descending onto a truck cab during a 24-hour field observation of operations at the crossing. In addition, this is a high-speed rail corridor. Preventing truck-train collisions is an even greater consideration because of the expected high train speeds in the near future. Technical analyses were complemented by stakeholder and public outreach. The outreach also identified issues that the technical analysis had not yet uncovered in the study area, such as drainage issues that engineers would need to understand in later project phases. A 2020 survey solicited input from stakeholders. 93 responses were received from local residents, truck drivers, transportation companies, community administrators, planners, engineers, commuters, and nearby property owners. The survey was via the web, email, and traditional mail. Overall, survey findings were consistent with traffic and safety data. Respondents said delays lasting longer than 10 minutes at the railroad crossing are common. To emphasize the safety concerns at this location, 20% of those who took the survey said they have witnessed a vehicle strike the railroad gates on Laraway Road, and 80% have witnessed a vehicle speed up to beat closing railroad gates. Following up on this survey finding, the study team collected the gate strike and repair data mentioned above. The majority of survey respondents agreed that reducing delay and conflicts in the study area is important. Nearly 70% identified travel time reliability for truckers as important. 80% said reducing conflicts between trains and motorists is important and nearly 80% identified reducing travel delay caused by the at-grade crossing as important. 
survey respondents experience significant delays along Laraway Road. Approximately 90% said they have been behind a slow-moving vehicle along Laraway Road and unable to pass. And over 90% said they have experienced delays traveling on Laraway Road as they approach the Route 53 intersection. A third of users reported waiting more than 10 minutes to make it through the intersection. The purpose and need statement for the Laraway Road PEL study is based on technical analysis and informed by stakeholder input. The purpose of the Laraway Road project is to improve the efficiency of the study area's transportation system by reducing travel delays along Laraway Road for all users caused by extended gate closures, to improve safety by reducing the potential for trains to collide with vehicles, and to improve the freight network reliability to the intermodal and industrial sites in the study area. The purpose and needs statement is the basis for the development and evaluation of alternatives. Please let us know if the purpose and need captures your understanding of Laraway Road. Comments received or postmarked by April 30th will become part of the official project summary. A traditional mailable comment form is included in the project brochure. CMAP will also be hosting a live Zoom meeting about the Laraway Road project on April 14th, 2021 at 6 o'clock p.m. for you to chat with the project team and ask questions. Register for the Zoom meeting at the following URL, https colon slash slash engage.cmap.illinois.gov slash Laraway dash road dash at dash union dash pacific dash railroad dash crossing. Please proceed to station four for details on the alternatives development process